Hey folks, David Fine here from Keys Mods. I've got a very exciting video to share with you guys. We are going to, in this video, talk about some of the largest mods in North America. I think some of the largest mods in the world, guys. The Giant Sphinx, the, the Ficus Sphinx, some of these things are huge. The, guys, you're gonna love this video. I'm gonna show you some of our nocturnal beasts flying around right in our backyards here in South Florida and in the Florida Keys. Check this out. All right, guys, this is going to be a fun video because we are going to show you some of the most impressive mods that live down here, guys, as far as sheer size. And everybody loves to see big showy insects, guys. This is the giant sphinx, Cochidius anteus. And, whoa, Dave, what is that? What do you have in there? This is actually the pupa of the giant sphinx. Look at the size of it compared to my, my index finger. It's actually longer than my index finger. And this big, long thing is its proboscis chamber. But uh, this is actually a pupa that died uh, while I was raising it. So I kept it. So, guys, these are some cool bugs. And these are this wingspan of the giant sphinx, this female is about, I'm gonna go probably close to eight inches, an eight inch wingspan from tip to tip. That is a very, very large moth. In fact, I'm gonna tell you some stories about some of these bugs uh, when I get a few minutes here. So guys, the three species we're gonna talk about today, we've got the giant sphinx, Cochidius anteus, and it is an amazing bug. We've got Pseudosphinx tetrio, the um, frangipani sphinx, which is another amazing, that's a huge female frangipani sphinx right there. And then finally, the ficus sphinx, which is another huge, large species down here in South Florida. Okay, guys, Pachelia ficus, the fig sphinx, is one of Florida's largest moths. And it is a stunning moth, and as the name implies, they feed on ficus species as a larval host plant. And uh, the caterpillar, guys, is this big, big, thick green caterpillar with a, it's like a two-tone thing with a yellow stripe down the, uh, the the back there. It's got a little, little tiny little horn, unlike some of the larger horns that uh, some of the sphinx moths have. But one cool thing, like this, this moth, because it lives in ficus trees, ficus trees are huge and you don't usually see them. So people don't usually see the caterpillars, but when they act, people actually do see the caterpillars is when they are getting ready to make their pupa, they turn colors and they turn into this green and orange form here and they actually crawl down and pupate on the ground. So people will find them as they're crawling across the ground. Imagine seeing like an, like an eight inch, big, thick, green and orange caterpillar crawl across the ground is pretty cool. Uh, guys, in the Florida Keys, we are we have plenty of strangler figs, so they should be fairly common. We, we see them every now and then. They're not a very commonly found moth. We've found a couple at lights uh, in the month of, usually in the late spring, early summer is when we see most of the adults. We find the caterpillars a little bit later in the year, uh, but Key Largo, Big Pine Key, we found them on both of those islands, at mostly in May, June, and July. I found several of them at gas station lights. The public shopping center in Mile Marker 101 in Key Largo, I've actually found several of them hanging on the walls in that public shopping center that were attracted by the lights there. Uh, but guys, sexes are pretty similar. There's not that much of a difference. I'll show you actually over here. Uh, females are a little bit larger. Males are a little bit smaller, uh, but the colors are pretty much similar. They look brown in the box, but boy, when they're freshly emerged, this four-wing brown coloration can be a little bit more on the green side. It's a great moth. They used to be a lot more common in South Florida. They started disappearing, actually, when white flies showed up because white flies showed up and it was a pest and, and people started spraying pesticides on all of their ficus hedges to, to kill the white fly. And then you know, I've seen a lot fewer ficus sphinx. I think it has to do with that. 
Okay, guys, the second species we're going to take a look at is the Frangipani Sphinx. Pseudosphinx tetrio. Phenomenal bug. Phenomenal bug. In, the, in fact, let me show you on my website, guys, the Frangipani Sphinx because... The Frangipani Sphinx is much more well known for its incredible caterpillar than it is for the actual moth itself. The caterpillar of this bug, guys, it's imagine like a six or seven inch sausage that, and, and they, they're all over your Frangipani trees. They decimate the trees, but they're black with these bright yellow stripes with a red head, big, big curly whippy tail at the back end of the uh, abdomen of the of the caterpillar just a phenomenal caterpillar i absolutely love it every time we find these we don't find them very often but they are found every now and then and typically in the month of august in south florida and they are voracious eaters and you can actually see let's see if i can get this guy they are voracious eaters and they will decimate a tree because when a female finds a frangipani tree she'll lay a, a couple dozen eggs and these you know imagine 30 40 of these massive caterpillars just going to town like this on uh, a tree it's going to defoliate fairly quickly uh, females and males are actually dimorphic the females of this species have a, a much more of a matte colored gray on the forewing and males have a more mottled and darker coloration. Females are larger. These ones on the top are the males, and you can see that they have these dark mottled coloration on the forewings. Females have a much more drab, matte gray coloration. So uh, females are a bit larger, but this is a large moth, guys. This guy right here is probably, uh, this big female here is, is about a seven inch wingspan right there. That's a large, large moth. Uh, they do fly at twilight. They don't really come to lights readily. We've found them at lights a few times on Big Pine Key, uh, but most of the time you're not seeing them at lights. You're gonna find more so, find the caterpillars of this species. So great bug. They are common throughout the, the, the Caribbean and the tropics, anywhere where the frangipani plant grows and all throughout Central and South America, this bug is actually fairly common. All right, finally, guys, the other large one, the giant sphinx, the best for last. Guys, this moth is, I believe, has the largest wingspan of any moth in North America. So it, with a wingspan of up to 10 inches on the females, they are dimorphic. The females are much bigger than the males. These are the, it's the male right here. Look at the size difference between the male and female. Look at that thing, that's the male. Female is much, much larger. Look at the size of the body of this female. It's actually about this, it's at least as thick as my index finger. I've got big, big man fingers, guys. And this is a large, large moth, very heavy, especially when they've got all those eggs in them. I actually found this one in Delray Beach. I got a funny story about this one. I was about 11 years old on the soccer field and my dad was the head coach and they had the bright mercury vapor lights on at night. And I remember seeing this moth flying across the field and I could not believe what I was witnessing, the size of the moth I was seeing. So I actually left, I ran, middle of the soccer game, chased this thing about a hundred yards and actually swatted it down with my hand and caught it. And this specimen lives in my collection very proudly. Uh, from all the way back then. This one I actually caught at a Lipton tennis tournament in uh, that was a tennis tournament that they held down in Biscayne Bay. I was in the grandstands of a tennis match and I saw this big, huge female flying and land right in the hair of a lady that was a couple rows beneath me and she screamed. So I ran over there I grabbed the moth off of her head as she was screaming. And then I said, I'll take care of that for you. And I, but now, on this big, impressive moth, that, those are two fun stories. And those are real stories about when I found both of my big female giant sphinx from my childhood. One in Delray during a soccer game. One in 
uh, Miami during a tennis match. But one of the cool things about this moth, look at the size of the proboscis. The proboscis is longer than, by far, longer than the body of the creature. These guys will nectar on flowers that are very deep-throated, like angel's trumpet, stuff like that. If you have an angel's trumpet uh, plant, they these guys can actually be seen nectaring at twilight. So they've got a translucent uh, window on the hind wing, which is pretty cool. Let me show you here. You can actually see through there. It's a translucent window with no scales on the hind wing there. Uh, but guys, beautiful, beautiful moth. In fact, let me show you on the website, the giant sphinx. I've got some pictures of the caterpillar there, right here. Let's see. All right. Cochidius anteus, the giant sphinx. Uh, oh, and by the way, look how that, that proboscis is just curled up there underneath the, uh, the head. There, there's a whole lot of baggage there that that thing has to uh, has to hold on to. Um, we found them in Key Largo and on Big Pine Key uh, in the months of May, June, and October. They're probably most abundant in the month of October, and caterpillars can be found most often in the month of August. Caterpillars are big and green with a white stripe on the near the abdomen, near the base of the abdomen. They've got their little horn has got this kind of little nodule, knobby little kind of coloration and texture to it. But it's a huge caterpillar, absolutely huge. I have a problem finding one without parasites in it, to be honest, guys. It every, seems like almost every one I ever get has parasites. I have raised a couple of them out, but most of them are have brachian wasp problems. So uh, incredible moth, guys. Love the giant sphinx. They feed on pond apple and other plants in the Anonacea family. Uh, I have a sugar apple uh, in my yard, or Anona, for as the Spanish folks know it, a fruit fruiting plant in the Anonacea family, and the caterpillars will eat that readily. So, guys, amazing moth. These are the biggest, guys. Look at the size of this thing. Guys, these are some of the biggest moths around. Look at the size of this moth. As it, as it rests in my uh, hand, this is a female giant sphinx with its wings folded back over its head like it would be resting in nature. But it's a very, very large moth, very impressive. And I'm glad that we get to have these guys living in South Florida with us. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video on some of these large beauties that we have here in the Florida Keys and South Florida, I mean, I can't get enough of these. I don't see as many of them as I'd like to. I wish we found more of these things than we do now, but uh, it's the nature of living in a concrete jungle that we live in. So, uh, But they do exist. Out in the Everglades, actually, some of these things are pretty common. So, uh, guys, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I got an itch in my nose right there. Guys, if you want to learn more about the moths of the Florida Keys, check out my website. It's keysmoths.com. We've got all 600 moths of the Florida Keys photographed there for you and 100 species of butterflies. But I also want to give a shout out to the Southern Lepidopter Society. It's a group of a couple hundred men and women that have dedicated their lives to the, the furtherance of the education of an understanding of butterflies and moths of the Southern United States. If you want to join such a great group of people, it's about 35 bucks a year. You can go to their website, Southern Lep Sock, and join, you become a member there, you get some newsletters, invited to some meetings and, and field trips. So guys, hope you liked the video, thumbs up on the video, stay tuned for all some of the other cool mods that we are gonna show you on the Keys Mods channel. Okay, take care, let's enjoy South Florida. Bye now. Look at that bad boy.